Before we get started, let's take a look at the parts list. This list is going to include all of the tools you need, but the big things to pay attention to are the 3 quarter inch conduit, the conduit bender, and all of the associated hardware for install. Your list may be different depending on your kayak or any design changes you make. I'll be installing this lean bar on my 10 foot Lifetime Tamarack Angler Kayak. For the first step, take one of your 10 foot conduit sections and cut it in half. These two five foot sections will be your lean bar support bars. Next, take some measurements to determine how wide you want the base and the top of your lean bar. I noticed that the edge of my kayak was slightly canted, so I used my cell phone to determine the precise angle that it was canted. It ended up being 15 degrees. If you subtract that from 90 degrees, you get 75 degrees. That's the angle that I will use to bend my conduit. Using the marks you made on your conduit, place your conduit bender on that mark and bend to the angle you need for your lean bar. As I said, mine was 75 degrees, but yours may be different. Now you can trim down your lean bar to the proper size. I wanted mine to be approximately 36 inches, so I was able to cut several inches off of each leg. Now you can start a rough mock-up. Take all the pieces you've cut so far and use some tape to tape them together to get a general idea of how you want the lean bar to look. Now using a rubber mallet, tap the bimini end caps onto the end of each piece of conduit. Keep in mind that the interior diameter of the bimini end caps and the exterior diameter of the conduit are approximately the same, so some considerable force may be necessary. If things aren't fitting well, some sandpaper on the inside of the end caps should help. Using your cutting board and a permanent marker, trace an outline of each bimini hinge and mark the holes. This will be a backing plate to be installed on the inside of the kayak. Using your hacksaw, cut each backing plate out. You'll need to drill out the holes using a 3 16 inch drill bit. You may notice that the hitch pins don't fit in the holes on the bimini hinges. Using a 1 quarter inch drill bit, go ahead and drill out your bimini hinges so that the pins fit. Now you can begin installing your bimini hardware. Using the bimini hinges as a template, mark your holes and drill them out with a 3 16 inch drill bit. Install your bimini hinges using your 1 inch stainless steel screws, the backing plates you created, a single washer, and a nylon lock nut. Do the same for your lean bar support bars. Because of the dimensions I chose for my lean bar, I had to create some shims out of the cutting board material and epoxy them to the hole so that the bimini hinges would sit flush. If your hole is not angled like mine, you may not have to do this. Now you can cut your support bars down to the proper length. Do another rough mock-up with your level to ensure everything's level and get your proper measurements for where to drill your holes. Using the measurements that you made, mark both pieces of conduit. Line up the conduit marks and tape the pieces of conduit together so that they don't move. 
You can then drill directly through both pieces of conduit for a straight hole. Use your two and a half inch screw, two washers, your nylon gap washer, and an acorn nut to attach everything together. Now that your support bars and lean bar are assembled, you can install everything onto the kayak and using your level, do a final test fit. Okay, time for a test run. So, before, I was like this, right? If I wanted to stand up, I have to put my paddle in, and then bring my legs up, which is hard on my hips, and I just have to put my hands down here and push myself up, which is hard in the water, right? That's kind of hard, and it's kind of unstable and unbalanced. And then sitting down is kind of the reverse, but just as difficult. So, because you're sitting so low in the kayak, you're actually like right at the edge. If I were raised a few inches, it would be a lot easier. But right now, my knees are in my chest. And now, I can actually install this and put it up from a seated position. Position, I can do that. I can put the paddle back, keep fishing, and then I can sit down. Really easy as well. Very nice and controlled. It really helps. And then when I'm ready, if I want to put it down, I just bring my paddle back in, pull the two pins. open all up in the front again. I can go right back to where I was. So, works perfect. Exactly, exactly what I designed it to do. Now it's time to paint it. The last step before final assembly is paint. Using 100 grit sandpaper, rough up the support bars as well as the lean bar, and use a clean cloth to wipe off any dust. I used Plasti Dip black coating for my paint and it gave it a nice rubberized matte black finish. Here's a final breakdown with the total cost of everything I had to purchase. You may have some of these things already, so your cost could be less. If you like this video, please subscribe and give the video a like. And if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching.